We begin our microscope observations in interphase, before the DNA has condensed into chromosomes when it is visible as chromatin. The first stage of mitosis is prophase, where the DNA condenses to form chromosomes. However, here in the upper left-hand corner, we're seeing evidence of what's likely to be metaphase as the chromosomes are lined up along the equator. However, it could also be the beginnings of anaphase as we do see some separation beginning to occur. Here we are seeing clear evidence of metaphase where the chromosomes, each existing as sister chromatids, are lining up along the equator of the cell. The center cell here is clearly going through anaphase, where the sister chromatids are separated and moved to opposite poles of the cell. This cell here is in telophase, where the chromosomes are uncoiled and the nuclear membrane is beginning to reform around them. Cytokinesis can take place after this. Now let's take a look at the stages of mitosis as seen on a micrograph. In this micrograph, we can see some cells that are actively dividing and some that are not. So of those that are actively dividing, let's identify which stage of mitosis they're in. Firstly, here we can see a cell that is going through prophase. Up in the top left-hand corner, this cell is probably in late prophase or early metaphase. Slightly below and to the right of the centre, we can see two cells that are in metaphase. This cell at the bottom in the centre is clearly in anaphase. The sister chromatids are being pulled to opposite poles of the cell, and the separation is clear. This cell is going through telophase. The nuclear membrane is reforming, and the chromosomes are uncoiling to form chromatin, so you see a much darker dot, two dots in the same cell, in other words, two nuclei in the same cell.